Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my attempt at explaining what's going on with the Muller wheel. Firstly let's look at the magnetics. What, what I have here is, is basically two pieces of paper. The bottom piece represents the rotor with the magnets on it and the top piece is the coils with their cores and their respective magnets top and bottom which is overall forming the the magnetic toroid that the that the rotor is sitting inside and as you can see if magnet 1 is lined up with particular coil A all the other points around the circle correspond to their opposite side forming the allowing the the, um, the rotor to just balance all forces are equal but there's a lot of force in there with the magnetic magnetic fields so this is I think well known and as Romero UK said has been used in those aeroplane model aeroplane motors which I forget the name of now so the theory behind it is it takes very little effort to move the rotor in relation to the coils because it's all balanced now electrically what I think is going on for each magnet to go from one coil to the other you get a precessional effect going the opposite direction to the rotor so you get each rotor magnet and coil has a separate event for each segment that's rotated so if I rotate magnet 1 to coil B you see 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 all having their electrical events for the rotor to move just that small part of the revolution and I think that has to do if you consider that in respect to the what's going on inside the core where as each rotor magnet interrupts the magnetic circuit as it were between the top and bottom magnets on each pair of coils that flipping or backing of the block wall is what adds in the extra energy As, as well as the processional effect of all the, uh, the separate events going on for each segment. I've probably left loads of things out that I was going to say so I've probably I will up upload this video so you can all have a look at it and criticize it and we can talk about it. But um, yeah, there's lots of things going on in there. And what Romero UK was saying about tuning the magnetics. You know, so each, each event can happen without being too violent or too ineffective. Thus allowing the rotor to spin as freely as possible. But having all these events going on for each rotation but um yeah criticize away and let's talk about this